Hello everybody, back to Sweet Dwayne here and uh, trying out something different today. Now, I wanted to play Dusk, but I figured, you know, maybe save Dusk closer for Halloween. Or at least the uh, second half of September. So I had this installed and I'm like, you know what, I'll give this a try. So this is Sir Whoopass, Immortal Death. I think it's pretty much just a cheesy, funny little comedy uh, mm -hmm. fancy type game. Um, I will say that the music is, um, well, you know, I'll just bring up here all the music in the game, licensed from Epidemic Sound. Um, I, I can't really monetize from this, so, you know, what the, the music can stay on, but I will say, you know, ambience, hmm, um, but anyway, 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 I, I'm I'm uh, willing to give the game out, play for it. Um, I will say, if you're interested in the game, it goes on sale all the time on both Steam and GOG. So, wishlist it, and then probably like a day after you wishlist it, it'll be on sale. So, uh, all right, let me uh, let's let's see what goes on here. Yes, I will say definitely mess with the volume when you launch the game because it is very loud. I had to spend uh, quite a bit of time finding. Ouch! The Immortal's not so secret lair. This story begins like many other games in this genre, on a dark and stormy night. This is, of course, only for dramatic effect. Naturally. Adding to this drama, we see the main antagonist also, has some business. busy Wyvern's with choice. evil deeds. This is used as comic relief, but. Also to establish character. Damn. Aww. All villains need a loyal and annoying servant that ultimately will goes. betray his master in the end. This story is no exception and has chosen Sullivan for the task. He's got a cross. My lord, the experiment has escaped. He pants. Two things. First, sound the alarm and activate all the traps. The immortal annoyedly replies, and if he somehow should make it out, I'm sure the dragon, I'm sorry, wyvern yeah, wouldn't there, mind a snack. There's a difference. Second, you need some exercise. Sorry, but if I sugarcoat it, you'll eat that too, he continues. That's a good joke. Trainer? Trainee. But what about the protagonist, our hero? The one with a Comic fancy sense. walk and a mighty weapon. Yeah, this is not him. This is just a random trash mob. Will he be used later on in the game? No. Say goodbye to him forever. Okay, bye. Finally, we see our actual hero. But it's too peaceful. Something needs to break this tranquility. Sweet armor. All right, um... Looks like it belongs to another video game franchise. Hey, hey. New Mega Choice playing this game. Just finished up Half Life. Alright, so let's see. Space jumps. W A S D. Dynamite. Great for breaking out of prisons with. Whoa. Why is there a T posing gnome in the corner? Okay. Alright, I guess controls will be explained to me in good time. Pick up Snoring Skull. Okay. Every hero has a sidekick that, for no apparent reason, has a superpower that will aid the hero in solving critical puzzles. We picked Lucy for this mission. Will her backstory and how she ended up at this convenient location be explained? Probably not. 
Our hero picked her up and continued with his quest. Activate Lucy. Um. Okay. I see. Or do I? Um. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was good. That was good. That was good. All right. Every we pick up. All right. Now, now I know how Lucy works. All right. Oh, what are you, buddy? Are you the gnome? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gnomes are your main sources of protein. Press button to consume one. They are delicious. Gnomes are hiding inside barrels and crates, but can also be found roaming around freely in the landscape. <laughs> okay. Let's, um... Holy... <laughs> Oh, this game is so good. I love this. Oh boy. Ow! Flamboyant! Oh boy. Oh, what is this? Apparently it can be used to purchase fast weapons, such as swords, from the blacksmith. Blacksmith? Ooh. Sword. My first weapon acquired. Congratulations. You found your very first weapon. Press button to tear up your enemies and manage your equipped weapon in the inventory by pressing button button well oh. noob oh Okay, you just kind of press... Let's press I a minute. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. Alright. Anybody got a... Ooh. Look at Sir Whoopass, a critical review. Oh By boy. Yay Yay Abrams. Looks promising. Could definitely use some more lens flares, though. Absolutely. Anything. By Yay Yay Abrams. Okay. Looks promising. Could definitely use some more lens flares, though. How to escape a dungeon? Ten easy steps. Hmm. All the pages are torn out. Oh. Yar. Ow.
Ooh, ooh, get back here. Get back here. Gnome, get consumed. Thank you. Oh. I'll save you for later. By the immortal's beard. This shiny thing can be used to purchase ranged weapons, such as stars and crossbows from the blacksmith. Yeah. What he said. Create your own action RPG, a complete guide. Whoa! Include IO Stream Int Main. The rest is just an even more unreadable mess. I don't remember much about coding, so that kind of goes through my head, I guess. At Ooh. this point, something interesting needs to happen. Caked up. How about some orcs having trouble connecting to their Wi-Fi, for example? No, not good enough. Take a look at this big pressure plate instead. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yes! This outcome probably didn't come as a surprise to anyone, except for Sullivan, who got very surprised to see the prisoner, our hero, escape on a killing spree in the dungeon. This perfectly wraps up the introduction, though. Let's continue. The caked up one still here? No, no, yeah, just kind of shredded. Oh, would you look at that? This can be used to purchase heavy weapons, such as hammers from the Black Schmidt. Wow. Okay, I'll uh yep. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm not sure what the limit is, but, uh... I'm not sure if I'm getting close to that or not. Oh my god, there's so many gnomes. Oh boy. You know, why is, why is it flamboyant or Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be a pirate. Oh! You thought. Ooh. But what be in here? Oh my. Propeller hat. Whoa. What a rarity. 
It does not generate enough lift to be airborne, but reduces fall damage when equipped. How handy. How very, very handy. Sorry, I, I, I got this, uh... I got the cinnamon toast crunch peanut butter and I was, uh... I was trying it out. It's very good. Very, very cinnamony. Um... Oh my god. It's wonderful. Wheel of cheese? I found a secret cheese! Man, I'm getting, I'm getting so many Chivos. Pull the lever, sir, whoop-ass! Nice. What? These traps don't make any sense. Who even designs living areas like this? Oh well. Well, I think I think we need to. Uh, I think we need to like you know alt uh, through there. At the very least, I can. These traps don't make any sense. Who even designs living areas like this? Okay, I'm pretty sure that I'm just supposed to stop in the middle. The hell? Oh. Now, am I like... Am I like farming here or is it just like, you know? Okay, so. All right. What? These traps don't make any sense. Who even designs living areas like this? Okay. Oh well. Now this part I'm pretty sure we alter. Well, God, Shiva, for that. Player repeatedly ties in tutorial level. <laughs> Developers are worried. Playing a fire is bad for those who burn themselves. For the rest of us, it is a very great pleasure. Um. All right, does it stop at some point? Oh, okay. It's it was just a Lucy thing. Long jump. Oh, nice. What are you holding, Blue? Hold that thought. What do you hold, Blue Chest? Crack open a cold one and whip some more ass during a limited amount of time. Hurry up and disassemble some orcs. The titular whooping of the ass. Oh, and do I? Or am I? Oh, I'm just I'm just already uh, on it. Oh. Roomba 9000? Hey, what's the Loot Modest Drunken Orc. Nice. Alright. Really Drunken Orc. Nice. 
look at birthday skeleton. A bit over refreshed and hungry, but looks pretty happy. Absolutely. Drunken orc. Okay. Ooh, and you are not drunken orc. Ooh, what are you? I see. Hold on, let's let's choose the scenery here a moment. Ooh, wheel of cheese. That was really secret cheese. That's kind of out there in the open. Okay, Halloween party costume ideas: humans, goblins, humans but dumb. Ghosts. No weapons are allowed, Azrak. Hello! Prison guard schedule. Monday for Wednesday, Darden. Thursday for Saturday, Cupcake. Sunday, please. Remember to keep the prison locked. Uh, Canet was here. Yeah, I should take, uh, I should take, uh, pours from that for, uh, my D&D, &D, uh, huh? sessions. Alright. Yeah, I think it's time for folks. Time to crack open the gnome. Uh, what are you? Why are you not alting? There we go. There we go. That one got his ass handed to him. What's uh Hold on. It's kind of a it's kind of like a thing going on there. What is that? Ooh! Twinkle acquired. Woohoo! You got yourself a magic stick filled to the brim with the awesome burning fury. Press button to switch to it and release the destructive force of a slight cough. Slight cough can be very destructive. Remember, a few years ago we found out the true power of a slight. Oh fuck! I I I I should make a COVID joke. <laughs> oh my god! It is a slight cough. Now that we have reached the end of the tutorial level, the player is ready for the actual game. I am. But here's also the mandatory deadly swinging trap section with a jumping puzzle, just as expected. Incredible. There, there, there's probably an achievement for killing someone with the twinkle. Hold on. Hold on. There was not an achievement for killing someone with the twinkle. Okay. Wait, what do you mean, orc hipster? Ow! The memes in this game are... a little everywhere. Lucy, do you have anything to add? No, you don't.
Whoop ass. Oh fuck! How difficult it was to pick up his teeth from the ground using broken fingers. So is that like the uh, thingy then? <laughs> Hold on. One at a time. Got like sharks? There's like a whole little level up thing. Okay, two skill to improve Sir Whoop Ass. Hmm. I'm kind of getting my uh, I'm kind of getting my ass whooped for me, so we'll go with protection. Confirm. All right. <gasps> Whoop. Lady. Okay. I uh, hope I'm still leveled up. Okay, now I... Oh, hell yeah. That was sweet. Not this guy again. Alright. Exit. Freedom. Finally, we are done. This is also emphasized in the uplifting background music. In fact, we have decided we are completely done with our hero as well. It's time to let things go. Um. Oh. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. This, uh... Fine. Let's show what really happened. Okay. Alright, it was just a bit. Loading screen is used to load stuff into the game. Bunny! Top hat! Um... Hey, cheese! Can I, have, can I have the hat, please? Uh-oh, buddy. Hey, you can run. Kenny no balls! Ass block! Yeah, I, uh, I still need to get used to these, uh, controls. Ow! This is gonna be a very interesting playthrough. Okay, I see, just a block.
What about coughing? Ooh. There we go. Kill my first vandal off. Hey, a lady. This mysteriously bobbing ghost lady is Melisande, leader of the Ceaseless Warriors Guild that now had become ceased. Sorry. She asked who our hero was and where he came from. Sir, we'll best at your service. Melisande paid no attention to our hero's answer since she was too busy thinking about the big explosion that killed her. It probably the tonight. She asked our hero if he had something to do with it. Yes. Outraged by the answer, Melisande demanded our hero to resurrect her before it was too late. Well, what about the others? She explained that the ingredients could be found in and around the village, and the ritual could be performed in the basement of the Jolly Barrel Inn. Uh, basement? Also, it's too dangerous to walk alone. Take my mace with you. I can't use it in this form anyways, she added before she vanished. Wow! You just acquired your first heavy-duty weapon. Heavy weapons are used to destroy heavy things. Press button to switch to it and let the havoc begin. Uh, got it. Um. Resurrection breakfast. Ooh. For high-class meetings, fancy dinners, and daily orc slaughter. Oh, we are putting that on right now. Sorry, sorry, Beanie. Oh, now this is a this is a sir whoop ass hat. I tell you, hell yeah, brother. Oh, don't forget the cheese. Ooh. Uh, I think our limit's seven. So let me... Hell yeah. Alright. What? Okay, the statue is... Not very visible. Well, not very, uh... Not very, uh... You, you know. It's not solid. Man, this keep was just right outside a village. Wowee. Hello! Hello, meek, uh, peasant folk. Kitty? Pick up Q-Cat. You can be there. What is... These are very interesting pigs. Can I... Oh! Directly from your local farmers in Stonedale. Okay, I need... Oh, there's this... Okay, so bacon, eggs, cup of cat... What do we mean, a cup of catechino? So I think we need to hold on to the cat here. I think, um... Yeah, I, I hear ya. Give me, uh... Give me a minute, Mr. 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 Q Cat. Where, where is the Jolly Barrel in? Yeah, but we'll, we'll come back to the cat. Chicken. Okay, we gotta go hunt down some chickens, evidently. Hey, how's it going?
Das ist, äh... We'll work on the eggs first. Yeah, I'm really tempted to hit him on the town's fault, but, uh... You know, we'll, uh... We'll give that a moment. Can I jump into here? This is... Kinda nothing. Can I get more bacon? Ooh. Close for lunch, back soon. Okay. Chicken. What is... This strange little world confuses me. Wi-Fi? Oh. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, let me get one last... Cat... That's a small cow. Eat bottle of milk. Ooh. Markiplier moment right there. Alright. Greetings, Traveler. Stonedale Backyard Seal. BYOB, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. No weapons allowed. There's so much to explore here. What is this? Star Cat's coffee. Look at Caffeine Extractor 1000. Our hero inspected the suspicious machine and wondered what would happen if a cat was inserted. You, you know, before I decide to, you know, play this, I was gonna be like, yo, you know, I should play, uh, maybe I should play, um, you know, Postal 2. But, um, you know, I didn't have it installed readily. So I'm glad to see that, you know, I'm still playing a game where I can do horrendous things to cats. Oh boy. Oh, it smells delicious. This potion is conveniently implemented as a powerful power up. To consume it, open your inventory by pressing button. Navigate to potions and try it out. Got it. Okay. Now, Jolly Barrel Inn. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What's uh, what's up here? Use vending machine. Ooh. Chickenator. Hmm. Delicious grog. Hmm. All right, I'll I'll leave that be for now. What does eating a bottle of milk do? Let's get some more. Uh, let's get our cat catachino for the road. And some more egg. <coughs> These people just don't care at all. Open door. Oh boy. Tip. Don't whoop and drive. Jolly Barrel in. Um... Loot drunken orc. Hey, isn't that the guy that died during the uh, uh, first cutscene? <laughs> hmm. This guy just don't care at all. Talk. This. I don't think that's a cat, but I'll talk to it anyway. 
Um, oh, you're uh, a little menacing. Let's say rough. Rough? Rough? Off girl woof. Meow, 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 meow. The moral woof, woof, rough. Um, rough, 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 rough. Arf, the immortal? The immortal woof and rough. Woof and woof. Arf, roof? Sir, roof, roof? Oh, my God. Arf, 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 arf. Hey. Woof and woof, fast. Well, oh, I, I... Talk to Bard of the Goblin Band. Holy fuck, what are you? What a year, how did you even get in here? Hold on, activate arcade machine. Yeah, that's our greatest source of entertainment around here, and unfortunately broken as well. The Goblin explained. Oh? It seems to be related to its power source, though. If you can track down the issue, you might get it back up online again. Side quest. He added. If I was the main protagonist of an indie action-adventure video game, and not the Bard, I'd start my investigation at the power inlet outside. He hinted. Side quest! Lucy, do you have anything to add? No, you don't. Talk to Bard. Um... Oops, sorry, wrong button. Well, it's upstairs. Restrooms, obviously. Hmm. Hey, he's singing a bout about me. Ooh, cheese. What did I do with all this cheese? Cupboard. Nice. Um. Our hero could not get the toilet handle to budge yet. This mechanic will probably be unlocked later on in the game. Skibbity. <coughs> right. Okay. Alright, well, basement, I guess. Hey, what's up? Five wheels of cheese. <coughs> this is also a loading screen. Oh, I s hmm. Unholy ritual. They're open cupboard. Ah, well, the holiness is falling out last. It's time for the unholiness. Our hero browsed through the spell book and confidently picked the correct spell, as any protagonist would do. Uh, this one. Yeah, oh, ouch. As Melisande casually thanked our hero for reviving her, she couldn't fail to notice something felt a bit off. She apparently was not fully recovered and asked if our hero really had used the correct spell on her. Of course. Yeah, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Our hero lied. This is a right spell. This was a terrible situation. Now that Melisande's warriors were all dead, and she was incapable to fight, 
She explained that orcs and other foul beasts were harassing the lands and they needed someone to keep them at bay before the immortal grew too powerful. Our hero had not yet heard about the main antagonist and asked Melisande to explain a bit more about him. Yeah. Ooh, lore. A long time ago, the immortal came to this land. He introduced himself as a humble and kind wizard that spoiled the people with gifts and luxurious artifacts, which they naively accepted. He eventually became acquainted with the highest royalties in the capital city, earning him more trust and access to all of the land's resources, free of charge. Free of charge. mistake. One morning, the citizens were awoken by the immortal's enchanting voice with the city shaking uncontrollably. Not only did he split the capital city, but he also divided the land into three parts, making it impossible for the people to reach him. That sucks. Fortunately for us, he is a villain of good conduct and forged the villain-beating artifact, the only weapon powerful enough to defeat him. The whereabouts of this weapon is, of course, unknown. Of course. Melisande realized she could not take on the quest to defeat the immortal in her current state, and asked our hero to take her place instead. She realized our hero maybe could be useful after all by talking to Richard Morningwood, the ticket Morning master. He is located just outside town at his extraordinary carnival site she added extraordinary but your weapon looks terrible did you get that out of a cereal box hey visit the blackschmidt here in town and get yourself some new gear she added melisande will remain here at the inn and keep the local pub supporters hydrated until she has healed you hydrate me I really like the uh, I really like the loading screen art. I also like how you know all the barrels and all that respawn. Talk to Melisande, the busy bartender. Melisande asked our hero if he'd like anything from the bar. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up with your leg? I used to be an adventurer like you. But then I took a boulder to the head. Skyrim was Melisande 13 years ago. If he'd like anything from the bar. Skyrim was 13 years ago. Um. How about surprise? Surprise? Melisande asked our hero if he'd like anything from the bar. Um. Okay. Melisande wished our hero good luck on his adventure. Well, all right. Um, okay, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go out here get stuff from the um, blacksmith and uh, gonna investigate the power thing too real quick. Probably won't play for much longer. Okay, fry fried garden now. Turn off the power again. I like that. Yeah, you know, also real quick, can I uh Okay. I can't really kill civilians. At least not with um this. Now let's go back in here. This is still loading screen. Great job, our hero. The machine is up and running again. But it says, insert game cartridge at the screen. 
Now, where does one find one of those? Yes, of course! The cartridge is probably looted in one of those golden chests. Just like 99% of all the other valuable things. He said. Okay. Either that, or you can just bypass that game mechanic and buy it directly from me. He continued. Yeah, no. I'll find it somewhere, maybe. Let's get in, let's get in our catachino. Who's this Black Schmidt fellow? Talk to Jen, the Black Schmidt. The Black Schmidt asks. Oh my God! Need what something is something to help your enemies see the error of their ways? I'm seeing an error right here. <laughs> what do you have? Small ass sword. Hmm. Well, can't really get either of those, so have gonna have to just go to the uh, small ass sword. Ah, oh, he's, he's celebrating a little bit. It is said size doesn't matter, but this sword begs to differ. Yeah. Guy, uh, guy. The Black Schmidt asked, "Need something to help your enemies see the air?" Dude, your eyes are freaking me out. Why can't I ask you about that? Hey, what's up? All right, map of the world. Pick up map. Map. Let's take in this world a minute. So we have ancient ruins of moldy ceiling. I assume that's where I came from. Possibly. Um, carnival site. Pimp my protagonist. Mysterious door. That right there. The goddess. Orc camp. Orc camp. Damp skeleton cave. Gilded ruins. Ancient ruins of vitamin D edition. <laughs> Uh, ancient ruins of stubbed toes. Ancient ruins of leaky rook. Oh no, you know what? This might just be somewhere I, uh, explore. Um, cave of stuffed pantries. Stonedale sewers. Why is, why is sewer so far away from the town? Um, cave of imperfectly designed walls. Ancient ruins of moist overhangs. Trial of courage. Lakeside farm. Ancient ruins of empty echoes. Gilded Ruins, Trial of Wisdom, Ancient Ruins of Dirty Feet, uh, Not-So-Secret Portal to the Sky, Cave of Poor Intrusion Prevention, Almost... I, can I... Oh, I can go over. Almost Stable Rocks, Ancient Ruins of Misplaced Belongings, uh, Gilded Ruins, Mysterious Vendor, Ancient Ruins of Chilly Winds, Cave of Inadequate Opportunities, Trial of Strength. Okay, quite a, quite a map we have here. Um, I'm gonna look around the town one more time real quick. What, what does milk even do? Cheese.
So j just just checking over everything again before I uh Despite everything, it's a quaint little place here. It looks like the game's got some de decent, uh, decent opportunities for gameplay and all that. I hope, anyway. Alright. En enough of all that. Now enough of all that. I think it's time we, uh, take our leave. Alright. Open gate to Weirdwood. Tip, this is loading screen. I like that guy right there with the mustache and eyes. Hmm. Weirdwood. Looks pretty okay to me. Pick up Mistlefoe. What is that smell? Apparently these can be thrown on your enemies by pressing a button. Try it out and see what happens. Oh... Okay. Ooh, chest. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't. I don't even know why. Oh, I. I, I got some whoop ass in me. Hmm. Is there anywhere I can take this in particular? Maybe there? Nope, that did nothing. Hmm, water. Huh. Sharks? <laughs> that ain't gonna stop me. That stopped me. Player gone missing water. Shark, I'm innocent. Sir Whoopass. Sir Whoopass the idle animation? Hold on. Let's break all these again. Let's see his idle animation. Come on, buddy, don't be shy. I know you got something good in there. That chicken just kind of souped into the world. It's okay, buddy. Take your time. Okay, I'm done waiting. What's this? Oh boy, a puzzle. Oh no. Um I'm awful at these. Um hmm. I hate these puzzles.
All right, it better be good. All right. You know. Oh, wow. You found the missing game cartridge. Now you can finally play Flappy Night at the Jolly Barrel Inn. We are going to go do that right now. The circus can wait. I need to get my flap on. So real quick, uh, yeah, we just save here. All right, well, let, let, let's uh, let's game up before we uh, end this episode. What? Blowing up in red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Reach the end of the level, win a prize. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, the leaderboards Amarillo, Sir Wix. Finale f Orcus Gamer, Jack the Zipper. <laughs> I didn't know there was an act. Is this an actual leaderboard? I don't know. Be pretty close to Lesso. But let, let's let's go. So we just yeah. He, he's he's just shitting out his ass. That's. Whoop. Ah, yeah, I went up a few thousand places. Let, let's go again. Hey gamers, remember Flappy Bird? Hey gamers, remember Skyrim? Hey gamers, remember Todd Howard? Oh. Uh. Okay. All right. A few, a few more thousand places. All right. We'll go till we have four twenty gold. And if not, then we'll end the episode right here. Oh, we get like a, a Sir Sir Wolbass Epic Gamer shirt. It's got like Sonic Green Hill Zone uh, floor too, unless you know. Oh. oh, oh. I'm winner, you're winner, just wing it. Oh boy. What do we get? Legendary small ass sword. Oh, mama. It is said size doesn't matter, but this sword begs to differ. Let's make sure. Yep, legendary small ass sword. Hell yeah! Ooh, it's all orange too.
Now this, now this is pretty good. This is pretty neat. Can we, can we talk to the Goblin Bard any? Yes, of course. The cartridge is probably looted in one of either they or you can jump. Okay. I don't think there's like any other game cartridges then. I, I was hoping there would be. The grass is also grass on their side. All right, well, th this is gonna be uh, part one of Sir Whoopass, and I'm I'm really liking the game so far. Yeah, it kind kind of like kind of like bad impressions for us of like the menu and all that, but I I'm really loving the atmosphere here. It's, it's a it's a good little mix of like funny and uh, you know you know, some like neat stuff going on. So definitely gonna be playing this through September, hopefully till before Halloween. I'm hoping I'm hoping to knock this out. Uh, with plenty of time left to do dusk, but uh, we'll see. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye bye!